Today we are going to inspect and determine the condition of the internal cylinder packet from a double action steering hydraulic cylinder. We are going to complete three different tests. The extend test. This will check if there is any shaft seal or piston leakage. The retract test. This will check the condition of the seals on the piston at the base. The mid-stroke bypass test. This is to check if there is any leakage over and around the piston. First, we bypass all the oil to the tank and set up our system to 3,000 PSI. We then free the pressure release until the gauge reads 3,000 PSI. We can now turn on the control valve. The extend test is to check if there is any shaft seal or piston leakage. The first step is to fully extend the rod. Now that the cylinder is completely extended, we can safely remove the retract hose. We apply full pressure to the extend port. We now check for piston bypass oil coming from the retract port and examine the port and end cap welds for leaks. The retract test. This will check the condition of the seals on the piston at the base. We first need to completely retract our cylinder. Once it is completely retracted, we can remove the extend hose. We now apply full pressure to the retract port. We will check for piston bypass oil coming out the extend port and for any leaks around the packing gland, rod seal, and port weld. This completes the retract test. The mid-stroke bypass test. To perform this test, we will need to reinstall the extend hose and extend the cylinder to mid-stroke. With the cylinder in mid-stroke, we again remove the extend hose and plug the extend port. We now apply full pressure to the retract port. There should be no movement of the cylinder rod. If there is movement or if the rod slowly extends, the piston has oil bypass and cylinder packing must be replaced. This completes our mid-stroke bypass test. Remember that if any of these tests had resulted in a bypass condition, the cylinder must be disassembled to determine the cause of the bypass and reassembled with a new rebuild kit.